Welcome to the IMC FAMOS tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how you can load different file formats in IMC FAMOS. In addition to the standard DAT and RAW formats, a variety of other formats are also supported. With the help of import filters, these formats can be easily loaded into the software. For importing ASCII and Excel files, IMC FAMOS offers an additional assistant where you are able to specify all the relevant settings. This is what we're going to look at today, so let's go ahead and get started. After starting the IMC FAMOS program, I will now go to the Extras tab, then on Options, and then under Browser, click on Data Sources. The default setting is File Format FAMOS, which means the use of the file extensions DAT and RAW. Now what I would like to show you is when you would like to import other file formats, as you can see here, there are a wide range of possibilities. Here I will change this setting to Auto, and now click OK. Now I switch over to the browser, and here I can select a file. In this example, I'm going to navigate to the folder DAT. On the right side, you can see that there are several files in several different formats. Here we will double click on Test Bench 3, for example. Then the ASCII Import Assistant pop up window will open. In the lower section of the window, a preview is displayed of how the data will appear in the FAMOS program. As can be seen in this example, the assistant has already displayed the data in a certain arrangement. However, by selecting and using the various options from the tabs above, the displayed data can be customized. As the default setting in our example, the first column has been designated as the time column, which can be seen by the highlighted green numbers. However, because this is a temperature channel, I'd like to change the setting under time column from real first column to none. If I go now under the tab Names, in the context box, Channel Name, you can see that the default uh, setting is Channel Underscore, which provides a prefix for the imported data. In this example, however, we would like to use the information that comes directly from the imported data. So we will change the selection of where the information is found from Fixed Text, not from File, to Inline Number. Now we have the possibility to select from which line number the information will be taken from. In this example, uh, we will leave it as line 4 because that's where you can find uh, the channel's temperature, force, and pressure. Then click on OK. As now can be seen under the variables, the three channels, temperature, force, and pressure, can be found. Now if we open the next file, in this case Test Bench 4, you can see that the default setting under the General tab still has Real First Column as its setting. However, under the Names tab, the program maintains the setting from our last entry and is here displayed as Inline Number, meaning the import names are derived from that particular line of the data. If you are importing much of the same type of data, it may be beneficial to have the option to save all of the import settings to one default mode. To do this, in this example, on the General tab, we will once again select None for the Time column. Then we click on the Import Filter tab. We now create a filter called Test Bench. And now we will click on OK. As you can see, uh, in the left side under the variables, we now have all three of our data groups loaded into the software. Now, if we click on the next file, for example, TestBench 5, we can go directly to the Import Filter tab and then select the type of filter we wish to use, in this case our TestBench settings, then click on Load, and all the settings will remain as they were set then click OK. As you can see, the next group of data now also appears under the Variables tab. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC FAMOS tutorial.